What's up, ballers? We are back with another episode of Ballin' on a Budget. So today we're going to be doing our biggest shopping spree yet on the account. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is basically a series where I'm just grinding out live events, sniping stuff off the auction house, making coins, doing whatever I can. No money spent whatsoever. We're not buying coins. We're not buying cash. Only grinding our way to the top. So right now, we're trying to get the best possible team for that season score. So for those of you who don't know what that is, you get different tickets for accomplishing different things. Leveling up, objectives, team overall, season mode, sets, whatever. This is not going to be my main account where I'm getting tickets. On my other one, I have over 150, so well over 100 more than this one. But we are seeing what we can do because I am going to be continuing this into next season of NBA Live Mobile. So we are trying to improve our overall as much as we possibly can. We're probably going to start out with our small ball lineup as that could definitely use a lot of work. Uh, I actually like my big man lineup even though it only has, it actually has zero elites. My only lineup was zero elites. But I like all the players in there. I'm definitely going to try to get a new shooting guard and probably a new center as well. But we're going to get started with our small forward for our small ball lineup. We got over 400k to spend. I'm not trying to spend all of it right now, but we'll just see what comes up. And if I feel like I need to spend it, then I will. Let's see. What can we get for under 60k for an 87 overall? All right. Nothing. What can we get for an 86 overall? Nothing. What can we get for an 85 overall? Okay. All right. We can get a Paul George. Those stats are terrible. All right. Wish I could have snagged that Denzel Valentine. That would have been nice. Do we have any 84s? I'm trying to get this all elite, but it's not looking great. Maybe we got some budget beasts? I don't know. I don't really... Ooh. Okay, Jimmy Butler actually has nice stats. I never even realized that. Let's see what we got at 83. And we're going to bump the price way down to like 15k just to make sure we're getting like all those budget beasts in there. So we got Gordon Hayward. Obviously, he's got nice stats. And he's going to be a budget beast, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep the variety going. I know that I probably already have Gordon Hayward in another lineup, although I can't remember which one it is. All I'm seeing right now is Hayward and Giannis and not really seeing much else. So a little bit on the boring side for the small ball lineup at the small forward position. We'll check and see if we got any nice 82s that I'm missing out on. All right, we got Richard Jefferson. Nope, no good stats right there. Another Richard, oh, Nick Stauskas. Oh, dang. Those are, especially his speed and his dribbling, he's got a nice three-pointer and nice shooting. I might have to pick up Nick Stauskas, even though he's only a gold. Uh, if I can find a cheap one, there's one for 9,000. Let's see if we can find another one for under 9,000. Here we go, and obviously these Gordon Haywards and Giannis's are going for cheap as well. So we'll just search for that particular, I believe it is the March Madness program. Yes, it is. All right, 7,500, 7,000. Ooh, 47. Oh my gosh, this dude is so cheap. Major budget beast right here. And we'll come away. I think 47.50 was the cheapest one. Not that that 250 coins is going to make much of a difference. But a nice pickup right there because we only had a 79 overall Rodney Hood. So I should have just hit highest overall. That'll be a nice replacement. We're also going to get a better point guard because I honestly did not I don't really like Reggie Jackson that much. At least not in NBA Live Mobile. I don't mind him in the NBA, but doesn't have amazing stats. So we'll check out point guards for the small ball lineup as well. Let's see, 80. I'm going to see if we got any 87 and aboves for 60K. Come on. There's got to be something. Maybe not. Maybe 80K? How much am I going to have to spend? I just went super cheap on that small forward. So we've got to have, oh my gosh. All right, maybe this is not the lineup to go for a good point guard. And that's 10,000, not 100,000. Come on. All right, so we got Kyle Lowry. He's really, really disappointing stats. Um, all right, so we're not going to get Kyle Lowry because that doesn't really seem like it's worth it. We're going to go with 86 overalls instead. The only reason I don't like doing this filter is because it only gives me Russell Westbrooks for the most part, which is not what I'm really looking for. But we'll see if we can find anything special here. So we got Jarrett Jack. 
Got some nice stats, but his three ball is pretty weak, and that's something I really like to have on my point guards. Let's see, anything else? We'll just check out Russell Westbrook. Obviously, he's crazy fast, good shooting, okay three-pointer, better than the one we got now anyway. Chris Dunn, ooh, all right, so I like those stats on Chris Dunn. Really good speed, dribbling, and shooting, and relatively good defense and three-pointer. Kyle Lowry, ooh, that's another nice one. Ooh, I, I honestly really like that Kyle Lowry motivator, especially because he's gonna give a boost to the rest of our lineup. Is there anybody else? Mike Conley. All right. Oh, this might be our winner. 83 speed, 86 dribbling, 85 three-pointer, but he's got really bad shooting. Oh, come on. There's got to be, are there any other options? So the thing is, Mike Conley was way more expensive. I think at least 20K more than the rest. Kyle Lowry for 70K. Conley for 79. We're going to look for... 60k and below and see if any of those guys are still left let's see all right so we do have chris dunn i might just go ahead and snag him because i'm trying to trying to avoid getting one of these russell westbrooks just because it's so boring one of the most common elites in the game so we're going to pick up chris dunn right there i like that card 86 speed just an all-around really solid player so we'll hit highest overall that'll bump our small ball up to an 84 who else do i want to improve I really like Porzingis, just picked up Sauskis, and I think Jamal Crawford has pretty good stats too. Let me check on that real quick. Yeah, I like those stats, so we're probably going to move on in our shopping spree, at least for now. I kind of want to pick up a better center for the two-way lineup if we got one available. Let's see, 85 or better center for two-way. And try not to spend more than 60k. We might need to. I really want to try to find program players because I don't want to have all these boring base players that we've seen throughout the entirety of the game for the last, what is it, the last year and a half that they've been out? Ooh, Yusuf Nurkic. Ah, we missed a bunch of them. It looked like they all dropped in one sniping round, and I don't know what his stats are. I don't know if he usually goes for that cheap. We'll bump it up a little bit and see if there's any up for 85,000. If there is, there's like a tiny chance that I'll end up getting one. But I'd really rather not spend those extra... Oh, here we go, 85. Really, his only good stat is defense, and that's not going to be enough for me to spend all those extra coins on him. So probably not going to do that one. We'll just check and see if there's any 86s. Nope, there are not. So we'll probably leave the center position for our two-way lineup alone for right now. Moving over, I did say I want to get a better shooting guard and a better center for my big man lineup, so we'll go to the auctions. We'll search 85 and above center and shooting guard for big man. Any under 50 or uh, 60K, probably won't find them for 50K. You know what, I'm gonna search shooting guard first because that's gonna be the more rare one. All right, do we have any 84s? Come on. All right, we got lots of options here, that's good. Okay, I like that Nick Stauskas. Hold up. What is Karan Butler's three-point rating? My team, let's see. Does he have like a really good three-point rating? Because that was 87. Oh, but his other stats are, yeah. I still need to replace him. I do like that three-point rating, but his other stats are not good enough for him to be able to keep up. So 85 and above. Shoot, or no, we're going 84 and above, I believe, for shooting guard for the big man. Let's see what we got. 60K, I know I saw Nick Stauskas in there. Ugh, I hate it when that filter breaks. We got Will Barton. Oh, dang it. All of his stats are good except for his three-pointer. We got Jimmy Butler, pretty solid all around. Paul George, pretty solid all around. Nick Stauskas. This is probably my favorite one so far. He's got good dribbling and three-pointer, which are two of my most important ones, but he's got bad shooting. Any other options? It looks like these are probably going to be the only ones that we can choose from. Yes, they are. I might have to go ahead and go for that Will Barton anyway, even though he doesn't have a good three-pointer. All of his other stats all around are really, really solid. So we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Will should be all that we got to type in right there. And who we got? 58. Let's see. 55, 55, and 55 is the cheapest one. So we'll pick him up. 
Go to my team and hit highest overall. Bumps our big man up to an 83, and we also need to look. I really don't like shopping for center, so I'm gonna put that off as long as possible. We do need a better power forward for our shooting lineup, so we'll see what we got there. Position power forward, shooting lineup, and uh, I think we wanna go for an 85 and above. Let's see, price. We'll probably have to pay more than 60K, but we'll do that just to check and see. Maybe we got one for 80, one, two, three, here we go. All right, do we have one for 100? 100, Ooh, let's see. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we got for 84 and above? Oh my gosh, this is an expensive position. All right, we're gonna look for 83 and above. There we go, Dario Saric. Oh, dang, I like those stats, 84, what? This guy is better than most of the elites I picked up today. That's going to be a no-brainer. David West is nice too, but that Dario... Oh, and we got Spotlight, Paul Millsap. Major throwback. One of the first programs ever released in NBA Live Mobile. It's basically the old-school version of Team of the Week. Wow. All right, so we got a lot of variety going on right here. There's actually a bunch of him on the auction house because people are probably pulling them out of... The, uh, the rare gold packs. So I actually owe you guys one of those videos. I'll try to get that out as soon as possible. We're gonna see how cheap we can get Dario for. Okay, let's see. Dario, all right, 15, 14, 10. Oh, I'll take that one for 10K. Yes, sir, that might be our best pickup of the video so far. All right, Dario going in right there. That, that was definitely that's the wrong lineup. <laughs> I keep going to the summer courts when I mean to go to shooting. There we go. So 85 overall shooting. I'm pretty happy with our shooting lineup right now. That might actually be my favorite lineup so far. We've actually got an elite that we can't even put in there because of CJ McCollum. And then what do we want to do next? I'd rather get a better point guard for our two-way lineup. We'll see if we can get an 87 because the point guard position is so important in this game. We'll see if we can get one for under 80K. That would be nice. Oh, we got Kemba Walker's close to it. Let's see if we can pick one up for 85. One, two, three. Come on, Kemba. Let's see. Oh, and Reggie Jackson. All right. Reggie Jackson, compared to Kyle Lowry, his stats are really good, but overall not that great. Kemba's got really good speed and dribbling. They did him dirty on the three-pointer. Hmm, that's a tough decision. We're going to bump it down to an 86 and see if we got any options there. Aside from Russell Westbrook, I don't want a Russell Westbrook. Oh, whoa, we passed on... Ah, Rondo, he's not going to have... Oh, man, he's got really good point guard stats, but just as a... In general, his stats are not that great. Let's see, we got Rondo, Kemba... Anything else that I'm missing? Were any of those snipes? Or snipes? Just want to make sure. We could get Kemba for 80k, but his his stats just aren't good. I, it's really disappointing to me. But they, for some reason, none of the Kemba Walkers in this game have good stats. All right, we'll see if we get anything for an 85. That's on you. Oh, Shabazz Napier. I know he's a budget beast. 86 three pointer, 85 dribbling, 85 speed, 81 passing. I like that one. There's a good chance. I also know DJ Augustine is a budget beast. This is going to be a tough choice. Oh, DJ. DJ's got even more good stats, so I might have to pick him up. That's actually probably going to be a pretty easy decision. I'm definitely going for DJ Augustine. Let's see. And I might just need to do his last name because it's probably... Yep, it's got the periods and makes it weird. All right, 55K. Anything cheaper than that? Oh, one just went for 40. Looks like we'll be buying for 55, 55, and yes, 55K. So where was that one at? There we go. We'll go ahead and pick him up. That is a nice budget beast pickup. Probably one of the better and cheaper budget beasts in the game, and that's probably gonna bump us up to an 85 two-way. No, it does not. What am I thinking? We've only got three 85 players and nobody above an 85. Why would that bump us up to an 85 two-way? Let's try to find like a cheap 84 center for the two-way lineup, and that might bring us up there if we got enough boosts from the lineup. 
Let's see, and that should be, all right, what options? I obviously need to type in a filter, 60,000. That should be plenty cheap. Yep, Andre Drummond, Marcus Cousins, nothing special, Yusuf Narkic. We're probably just gonna get the cheapest possible one. Andre Drummond's better than Brooke Lopez in just about every stat, aside from three-pointer, and three-pointer really does not matter for your center. Probably gonna get Andre Drummond, and he's also the better overall, so that's a pretty easy decision. Although I think we need to look at DeMarcus Cousins too. Uh, I think Andre Drummond's got better stats. Let's see, 70 defense, 74 defense. I honestly don't care all that much. We're really just going for overall right now. So we're just gonna find the cheapest one on the auction house and go ahead and pick him up 50K. All right, guess we're getting DeMarcus Cousins. We will toss him onto our team. That might bump us up to an 85 two way. Yes, it does. We get a lineup master collectible right there. Solid pickup once again. All right, we got 187K left. Probably not gonna spend it all because we're looking good right now. I'm really liking our lineup. Let's see. I am gonna replace Porzingis because really my big man lineup is the only place I need Porzingis. I don't need him as much in the small ball lineup because I'm not running and gunning as much. Or no, I'm running and gunning more, uh, which usually means I use my point guards, shooting guards, and small forwards more. So we'll see if we got any good options here. 84, four under, 60K, probably just going for overall right now. And I, yes, I do have the right filter. It's crazy. All right, we got Draymond, kind of okay stats. Paul George at the power forward, that's interesting. I'm actually a little bit tempted to go for that one. Oh, Ryan Anderson, I know he's, yes, he's got a good three ball. That's who I'm gonna get. Let's see, that's the cheapest one up. That's who I'm picking up, Ryan Anderson. There we go. So that's probably gonna be the finish to our shopping spree, the biggest yet on our Ballin' on a Budget account. Looking really solid, and I am not even looking at the right account, or right lineup. Here we go, tossing in our Ryan Anderson for Chris Stepps for Zingas. 84 overall small ball lineup. Overall looking very, very solid. Still at an 84 franchise, but that should go up soon. I'm pretty sure that's what we were at when we started the shopping spree. So probably a couple more upgrades and we will be up to an 85. But that is gonna be it for this episode of Ballin' on a Budget. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please, if you are, make sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.